What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be doing the ancient altar. Now I've had a bunch of people ask me if I could do a live stream um, and uh, it's a little tricky for me to do a live stream to be honest, but I'll go ahead and see if I can get one out there. But for now, we have a video for you. Now uh, I'm pretty excited about this because last week, um, let me just see our record. Um, oh, this is for, for hell or hard. Is there uh, okay, uh, I guess it doesn't really tell us the record. <laughs> um, I thought that was going to be the, the record for like what we did, but we were able to go ahead and get the level four rewards um, for hard difficulty. For those of you that don't know, what you're going to want to do is go through here and get the level four rewards for the hard difficulty. And then you're going to walk your way back and get all these other stuff. Now, if we kill normal, hard, or hell, we're going to get twice the rewards. So our goal is to actually kill boss, right? Kill hard, kill normal. Um, that's gonna be the goal. Kill hard, kill normal, and then move on to hell, and then see if we can at least reach like level one, because level one's a big deal. Getting those gene hybrid shards is always nice, and the limited recruitment cards, easy. Yes, I could go for level four here, but you can see if you compare, let's just say you could do normal and hard, one key, which I think I can, I think I can. Um, keep in mind that the killing the boss is actually a lot harder than actually going for the, the fourth chest. You can see it's 33 million here, but uh, in the game, it's 53.9 million. So it's quite a bit different. You can see here, uh, we were able to do 1.6 million damage to the hell boss last week. Um, and before that, we were able to actually kill the hard boss. So we will have to see. We will have to see um, what we're able to do here. Again, I'm not going to bother with easy. The gear, the rewards are just so much worse than going in for level one uh, health because of the gene hybrid shards and all that good stuff. So we're going to see what we can do. Now, I did have a couple of characters that I think I just geared up uh, for future videos. People that aren't geared up are basically anyone below this, this level right here. <laughs> I don't have any of these characters really geared up. It's not worthwhile for me to invest gear into them, I don't think. Now I could go and I can put gear on to um, you know, Ravenna and stuff like that, but it's just a lot of upgrading. So I'm not going to bother here because I don't have one. I don't have a ton of time to upgrade and re-gear my whole squad down here. But two, even if I were to put really, really amazing gear on these guys, um, it's not going to really change things. But I did equip some gear on them, right? I'm, not, I'm just not going to invest a ton for them. But I do have some really solid gear on my main squad. Uh, things like Emma, things like Taylor. And I also got Senway upgraded as well as uh, Serena now to Legendary 4. Now I also have a Leo and a Nagrama and Oisa to Immortal level. Oisa I got, I think it was from the Skewer banner, if I'm not mistaken. I believe she was on the Skewer banner and I got quite a few copies of her um, and I just got her up to Immortal. Nagrama was from the previous Rise of Heroes event and I also got Botmark 2. Actually, that's another important one. But all these characters have, you know, some decent gear onto them. Um... Uh, Sorietta and, and Rakana kind of got my leftover gear uh, for the most part, but uh, Senway is pretty well geared out. Uh, Liren, I actually just re-geared as well, getting her an abundance set. There's a lot of things that I've done recently for this. Now, before we even do anything, we're actually going to cash in our Rise of Heroes to see if we can get a couple more copies of Senway, um, because I would like to get him a little bit upgraded before I jump into the Ancient Altar, because um, I can easily get, you know, a couple more evolves and uh, go for an immortal Senway. So we're going to try to go for that. I only need, I think, is it one copy? Wow, we already, we already got that. <laughs> There's the four limited recruitment cards. I'm just going to keep pulling until I run out of pulls here, I think. Let's see here. There's another recruitment card. Now we're on the gene hybrids. Actually, if we get another gene hybrid, I might invest it straight into Leo. Because Leo has been crazy impressive uh, to me, guys. Crazy impressive. And honestly, I'm not sure if I'll post the video beforehand um, or what. Um, but uh, you'll you'll have to see that video. I, he's been impressive at a mythic level. That's what's crazy to me. Um, I thought I was going to have to invest a little bit more into him to, to, to really see the power. But jeez, he's, he's so good. He's so good. Um, let me just drop another 50 here. Okay. Let me just go. 10 times here, give me the LS gene hybrid, very nice. And we have one more 10 times here. All right, let's drop a six, okay, cool. So we have a couple more upgrades to make. Let me just see what we can get in terms of Senway. That's gonna be two copies of him, very nice. 
Boom. And uh, we also got a perfect gene hybrid shard. Look at that. That's perfect. And uh, let me just see where I would want to use that, to be honest. Do I want to use it on Leo? I think so. I think we use it on Leo for sure. Because, well, first, let me just get the Sinway upgraded real quick here. Uh, let me just get this upgraded. That's going to be an Immortal Sinway. Very nice. Very nice. And that's going to be very exciting. I can put a talents into him. So Immortal Sinway, very good. Um, we also have Leo that I would like to put some points into. So we're going to drop a Gene Hybrid into him. Um, perfectly okay. That's going to unlock his exclusive, which is actually a really big deal. This is actually going to help me in campaign. He's been absolutely amazing in campaign for me, guys. Really, really, really love that character again. Uh, campaign. Let me just see here. I think we're missing a few things. We can activate his exclusive first off. And let me just see how many points I have saved up. I think I saved up a decent amount. Yeah, I'm at 130. So we can at least get to like level five or six here. So we got to level six, an extra 10% HP, 8% damage amp, and 8% damage reduction. Any more talents here, we can get some more HP on him. That's going to be a big deal as well. So we're just going to max out that. Get the attack on him as well. Both are super amazing. And then we're going to uh, level up our Senway as well here. Uh, let me just see. I'm going to get the talents nice and uh, finished off here. Actually, we're running out of these talent potions. I've been kind of pausing on buying them for a little bit because I had a massive, massive stack of them. But... Uh, Looks like I'm going to need to go buy some more because we are out. We are out. And that's going to get all the upgrades that we can for Senway. Let me just see here. I would like to get some more upgrades on Serena's exclusive. Let me see. I can only do one more. Okay, boom. And let me just check if Emma has her exclusive fully upgraded. Okay, so it's, it's about as good as I can get for right now. So very nice, very nice. That's going to be the evolution upgrades that we can do. I can still work on like Hercules, for example. I could get him up to like mythic level, but I'm saving my fodder because I have a very low amount of fodder for things like Leo, for things like Skewer, for things like, um, well, actually I'm kind of out of Terran fodder because all I need is dupe. So maybe I should go out and upgrade Hercules, but for another time, because I don't want to gear him out. You know, I don't have the time. <laughs> um, but let's go ahead and just jump into Ancient Altar here and see what we can do in terms of damage. We're going to start off with hard because I want to figure out how much damage we're actually doing. So first things first, we're going to start off with our main team. Um, I like to remove all of these uh beforehand just so that i can see what i'm working with right i don't like to, to have a bunch of characters i like to work with a blank canvas so let me just remove everything i'm gonna put myself in the middle so you guys can see a little bit easier uh, let me just move all these guys out of here uh, okay i just like to remove everything so we start from a very very simple baseline okay so we're gonna start off with the main team here um and uh, what i'm gonna bring in is i'm gonna bring emma taylor for sure. I'm gonna bring Serena in. Question is, do I wanna bring Artis? Do I wanna bring Artis? I think Artis is probably the best option here. Um, we can put Serena in the front line. Because of what we're running, I kind of would like to run Bot Mark 2 as well. And we could run the Brynhild Commander. Brynhild, and then we're gonna run. Bring eyes is going to help all of our guys out. This is just going to be the, the highest stat bonus, which is what I'm looking for. And we're going to get this one. I actually really like this epic artifact. It's going to increase the healing effects of allied support heroes by 22%, um, which is pretty insane. I feel like that's better than most of the legendary ones. For example, like Terran Heart, um, reducing the resistance. And this one's going to um, have a uh, chance to land debuffs for longer periods of time. I don't know. I, I think I'd rather have the healing effect. So... That's gonna be our main team. This one's pretty simplistic because we're just gonna bring in our highest heavy hitters. Single target damage. Then we have this guy. And this is the other one I like to focus on. This last one, I'm basically gonna ignore, period. Because I don't have the characters to do team here. Obviously, I'm gonna do my best. This one here, um, we're really gonna try to focus up on some summon characters. Because if we see here, this one, you can see this attack, which above my head is gonna prioritize summons, which is why summons are so valuable. And now that we have Kalaza and a Senway, we're going to both drop those characters in, which is really, really nice. We're also going to drop in Skewer and Hattie. And we're going to drop in um, Discar here, which is going to enhance our summons, which is going to give some extra lifesteal and summons uh, going to give us extra attack. So this is actually going to allow us to heal up our summons. Not only that, we also get the middle hero crit rate. Uh, and we get support heroes defense. Uh, so we're actually going to move these two up and give these guys crit rate. So we're going to put Discard in, and then we're going to drop uh, just our highest upgraded Divine Prototypes here. Um, yeah, we'll run with this one. 
then we will run with actually i could go and upgrade our divine prototypes here mm. <laughs> um, i kind of want to do that but i don't necessarily want to reset all my my stuff going on here all right we're gonna drop that and i'm gonna back out and, and see if i can get that adjusted but let me see what else do i want to run here do we want to run leo Leo's not a bad option is it leo or oisa which one do you think is better um we want a healer we want a healer because we do take some damage here We want to run, I wonder if we should put Skewer in the front. Because the way Liren works, she's going to heal. They're going to target the ones in the front a little bit more. I think Leo is probably our best option. He's probably the best gear out of all these characters. Okay. And then for the last one, we'll run Roto. Um, some extra damage. And we're going to run some very basic stuff. Some flowing runes. It's actually going to be the perfect rune. Run Dominant. And then uh, run the Temple beetle and we're gonna run i actually leveled up nagrama recently which is pretty solid and we're just gonna run a bunch of random characters in here quite solid all right let's go ahead and run in there and see what we can do i'm gonna back out here hopefully it saves my team comp because i actually want to level up um i actually want to level up some divine prototypes here i don't really level up these guys often because well i don't really use all of them and i've been waiting for you know some more Ones. So, for example, here these guys are max level. These nasty ones. Um, this one's max level, but the enlightenment one is what I was looking for. So, this is the one I wanted to upgrade. It's going to be a lot of levels here. Uh, this is just going to give us extra stats across the board, extra attack, extra health, extra defense. Pretty big uh, power boost, to be honest. So, definitely worth upgrading. I get a lot of these things. Honestly, I could probably upgrade all of them across the board and not worry about it. Well, maybe not all of them, but I can upgrade a lot and not worry about it. But I wanted to just, you know, make sure I'm not overstepping my bounds here. Back into hard here. Hopefully it didn't adjust my whole comps again. Okay, nice. All right, so it has the same comps. Let's go ahead and just see what, what's up. Let's see what happens here. It's going to be a longer video because um, I'm not really going to just edit out a bunch of stuff. And as I said, this is going to be like a pseudo stream for those people that uh, wanted to see it. I've actually been very impressed with Nigrama here. And the problem is that uh, I have no healer for this team comp. I don't really have a ton of damage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll be back. Gotta love those crashes. Um, well, we're back. Uh, yeah, when you're when you're playing the count when you can't summon an absolute buttload and uh, you, you don't have like the evolutions on your characters, it makes it a little bit more awkward because um, you kind of just have to run with whatever you got. That's what you just gotta do. This one, I'm not too worried about. The extra damage that the boss does really doesn't affect our main squad, and so I'm not really worried about that first boss. This is the one that I wanted to take down as much as possible. And you can see here, Skewer is actually taking the brunt of the damage, which is not what I want at all. So I might have to readjust this team comment, put Skewer in the back line. We'll see how this goes though. Um, this is quite a bit of summons coming out. You have Leo kind of dishing out some damage, spinning around. We really want Leo to tank here. The fact that, that Hattie's tanking right now is really not good for us because if Leo tanks, not only are we going to not have Skewer die, but we're also going to get him to do more damage. So we really, really want Leo to tank. We also um, need to see how much damage we're dealing. I, uh, I'm i not 100% sure on which... Ooh, we're actually doing a lot of damage. I, I'm not 100% sure um, whether I like Senway or Kalaza more. I think Kalaza is more my favorite, to be honest. I mean, look at the DPS above us. We're actually doing quite a bit of damage right now to these guys. But Leo not taking any damage right here is kind of awkward. It might be better for us if we just don't put Leo in here because he's not really doing a crazy amount of damage. We might want to swap someone around. I'll swap uh, people around depending on how this goes. If we're able to kill off this boss, I'll, I'll keep you know Leo in. It doesn't really matter, right? I killed off the boss. But I think that we're making a mistake here by keeping Leo in here. Let's see. We have another 20 or 3 million to go. Can we beat down the boss in two seconds? We didn't kill off the boss, which is a pretty, pretty big difference. Okay. It's a level one shield, but still, it's still active. So we're going to back out here. And we're going to go ahead and just change some things up. So Leo really didn't provide much for us. Okay. Um, we can move Skewer to Hattie back or just take out Leo. 
and then put in someone like Negrama. Honestly, we could just put in Negrama for some extra DPS and we could put Leo in on that first team. Um, maybe he'll help out a little bit. I'm not quite sure. So let's try that. Um, I, I think that's going to be a little bit better. Negrama, I think, is going to do a lot more DPS for us, which is really, really nice. We'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll like massively regret this. But who knows? Leo might be able to take off a couple of uh, or a bar off this guy, which would be kind of nice, too. I think Leo is actually pretty solid for this this one. Especially since, uh, you know, we got the AoE monsters and we could just have him clear him out. The AoE. Yeah, I mean, look at Leo. He's actually doing pretty solid. He's going to be able to clear out. Not quite yet. I mean, look at the DPS he's dealing. He's going to be able to go ahead and just crush through him. Pretty big lifesteal chunk there. Wow, I actually really like Leo for this, this one. Wow, I really like Leo for this one. He's doing really well. He hasn't even gotten his passive proc quite yet. There it is. There's the passive. Um, can we get one HP bar down? Oh, we got one bar down, which is actually going to help us a decent amount. That's 80% off. And the cooldown's increased by four seconds. So that was a good swap. Um, I probably should have done that earlier, but I was thinking, hey, you know what? Leo could tank this boss for us. But honestly, Skewer isn't doing a bad job just tanking it on their own. Like, um, I mean, look, it's totally fine having him tank. And you can see Negrama's DPS. Um, definitely not like amazing for sure. I mean, he, the Grama is immortal, but I don't have like the best gear on him. We do have the ultimate coming out. Let's see how much damage. That's not bad. It's certainly not bad. I mean, it's, it's doing almost comparable to Senway, whereas Leo was doing one third of Senway's, whereas the Grama is doing like, I don't know, 75% of Senway's damage right now. Maybe a little bit less, like 60%. Well, now it's doing half <laughs> um, because the Senway is just popping off here with all the summons and such. But maybe with the ultimate here from Negrama, we can, can up that a little bit. I would like to take down this boss. That's that's the one key thing. If you're not taking down this boss, it'll really, really harm you later on. So uh, we could take down the boss, right? I really like Skewered Hattie with all the summons, by the way, because not only are you buffing up your team, like your main squad with Skewer Hattie's abilities, but you're also buffing up the summons as well. You can see all these guys, they all have their, their buffs of them, like the attack, the defense increase, which is why I really like Skewer in this second one. Um, I'd really like to be able to upgrade Skewer a bit. Ooh, are we not even going to make it? Oh, wow, we didn't even make it to the, the second portion. Come on, we can retry that and do a little bit better, right? We can, we, can re we can retry that. Wow, I can't believe you didn't even make it. Maybe Leo, getting Leo pulled out of that, that middle area was not exactly the best thing to do. It might be that we should take out like bot mark two from here and put in like, I don't know. I don't know, that feels kind of bad. I'm just gonna run this again because we did get some decent RNG last time and I'll let this, uh, I'll, I'll skip ahead so you don't have to watch this whole fight again, um, but we'll see what we can do for that second boss. So we're back onto the second boss here and we're gonna see if we can really burst this down. I mean, come on, we can do it, right? Not quite sure what went differently. Um, it might have just been like the timing of the abilities and all that type of stuff, you know. Um, you're not, are we going to be able to, no, it looks like we're not going to be able to beat that final portion of HP. Uh, but it is only a 2% shield. Um, it is only for four seconds. We'll see what our main team does because we have three minutes. If we beat the boss anyways, it doesn't really matter. But I would like to make sure I one key it. That's the only trick, right? Um, we're going to have to see. I want to make sure my ults are all on. Cool. they are um so they're gonna be smacking pretty hard here comes bot mark 2 bot mark 2 is a pretty recent addition um, i only built them this week so i've not seen this team comp with bot mark 2 i believe i was using Kalaza last time um, but i believe bot mark 2 is going to be much better for us um took us 30 seconds to get through that first hp bar um that's a little worrisome to be honest but we are getting like you know the the, the defense downs on these guys and we are like crushing through a lot of the stuff here so it might take us two keys, which feels a little bit bad, but I guess, I guess that's okay. Um, here comes this little, the, the ad here is, uh, is just running around, giving us a bunch of nonsense right now. <laughs> um, let me see here. There's the ammo ults. I mean, we took down, oh man. We took down one and a half HP bars. Or two HP bars. I guess like, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm not sure. Um, 
We're taking a lot of damage right now. It might actually be that we cannot survive, and that might get a little tricky here. I don't believe... Um, last time, I can't... I'm trying to remember what I had to do. I don't think I was able to finish all of them. I believe I had to two-key this, or maybe three-key it. Valmark 2 is dead. There goes Taylor as well. Ooh. Brutal, guys. Hmm. I wonder if we can do a little bit better than that. I don't know if we can, to be honest. That's, uh... We could swap over Bot Mark 2. Let's see, it's 2% shield, it's a 10% HP bar. That's that's like you know, 5 million, so 2% HP is one fifth of that. So it's a 1 million HP shield. We're not even going to be able to 2-key it at this rate. Let's try this. Let's let's go ahead and back out of here. Let's change up something. Let's go ahead and uh, let's move Bot... Let's take out Nagrama here. Let's take out Bot Mark 2. Let's put in Nagrama here. And... Uh, let's run Bot Mark 2 over here. That way we get the defense increase from the first... Uh, or from that second squad. Or defense down, rather. So that way all of our summons can deal extra damage. I'm hoping that one change will push us over to be able to completely annihilate the shield. We're going to lose Bot Mark 2 from the boss, and we're going to see how much that really changes things. Again, as I said, Bot Mark 2 is a recent addition. I imagine it's going to lower our DPS from the boss significantly, but I don't know if, uh, if we're able to beat the shield. I wonder if the shield will make up for the DPS loss from the boss. We'll have to see. I'm not quite sure. Again, this is all my first testing. I'm going to go ahead and be right back. Um, on this second boss. Oh, wow. Leo's just going crazy over here in the wrong direction. Um, hopefully, he's able to take out this uh, first HP bar again. I'm a little concerned now. Wait a second. <laughs> this guy went nuts in the wrong direction. Uh, come on. <laughs> you got this, right? Okay. Okay. He took down the first HP bar. That's all I cared about. So, uh, I was hoping he was able to do that, and he did. All right, I'll be back. So I figured I'd show you this uh, because we are absolutely crushing um, this second stage with Bot Mark 2. We should have no issues. I mean, when you compare Bot Mark 2 to Emma and Taylor, you're like, dang, these guys, like, you know, these guys just do insane damage. But I mean, Bot Mark 2 amps up everyone's damage. <laughs> and he also does a lot of damage um, by himself. So, I mean, you can see here, top, probably going to top the charge, or at least comparable to Kalaza here. And uh, we're going to crash it with 22 seconds remaining. Now, it makes me think. This is where it gets a little tricky. I'm like, maybe I could pull Skewer out and move Skewer into the main fight and pull Nagrama back over here. That's what I'm starting to think now. Uh, we'll have to see, though, because that could be a little tricky. But I would like Skewer up in this fight. You know, the extra defense would not be bad. The extra attack would also be quite solid as well. Um... But we're going to see how much damage we're able to do. See if this actually makes a decent difference or if it is literally uh, just either the same or just pretty mediocre. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, Nagrama does hardly any damage compared to Bot Mark 2. I mean, you can see this is like doing artist type damage, which is uh, pretty mediocre. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. So I skipped ahead a little bit here and we just lost the Grama uh, and we're only at seven HP bars. We ended up at 28 million last time. It looks like we're going to end way shorter this time, which is uh, which is pretty mediocre. There's one other thing I would like to try, uh, and that is going to be running double healer in uh, in that final fight and seeing if I can somehow take out Eren from this fight. That would be really, really nice if I could do that. Um, because we are actually dying. We are actually dying, and that is, and making it tricky. So let me see if I can just drop Nagrama in here. I will be right back. So here we are in this second fight. We did pull Liren out of here, and uh, we just lost Skewer. So we're going to see if um, we're able to kind of tank it up with the summons, and then actually deal enough damage to beat the fight, uh, while also having double healer in the main battle. It doesn't look too bad, to be honest, and I probably could have swapped... Um, well, maybe Skewer is actually the best put up there in the front. 
I don't think anyone else really could have done as good of a job. Maybe if we put Senway or Kalaza, but if we put one of those up in the front, we wouldn't have had the summons to back them up later on because they would have probably died. Um, so I think this is going to work fine. This seems to be able to kill the boss here, and that's exactly what we were looking for. Um, all we wanted is to kill this boss, and we did. So we killed the boss, and now we get double healer. Instead of having Negrama in that main fight, we're going to have double healer. And I think that'll make us do a lot more damage. We'll have to see here, though. Um, again, double healer is really, really important in this case because we were dying way, way before the time allotted. And uh, if we're able to go ahead and actually use the full amount of time, I think we could do some really, really major work here. But we'll see. We'll see. Now, Liren really helps out the frontliners. She, or he, I don't, I don't know, but the, the healer um, helps out the frontliners and uh, really, really amps up their health. That's kind of their their ability targets those frontliners. So that's really, really nice. And uh, we look topped off a lot more than we were previously. That's all I'll say. You know, we haven't really had a major smack coming, which it looks like this is our first major smack. Uh, between the fireballs that are come out going to come out here we'll see how much damage that we're actually going to sustain and see if we're going to be able to go ahead and heal it back up with the Liren and the serena looking pretty good we're already at about 11 million damage we're definitely not going to be able to one key it that's that's kind of i'm already you know past that point i'm not too worried about it though because again if we two key hard we one key normal which is again not a big deal then we're going to get the double rewards for both those. And then we could go ahead and use our last two keys on hell, hopefully giving us the first reward or potentially the second reward, which could be really, really good. Really, really good. Um, let's see here. Looks like they're they're all smacking everything down. Looks like some big hits coming. They are scaling up their attack. Um, so that is something to worry about. But we are looking pretty topped off here. There's no one looking in the danger zone realistically gonna get some ultimates coming in, in a second so we're gonna be able to cap off our health pools once again here we go there's the serena heals and boom look at that they're all basically full hp again this is looking really nice this is looking really nice taylor with his jump packs really do a good job of handling that little beetle that runs around are we gonna be able to two key this that's my goal that's my goal can we get like another four million damage out on this boss i think so i think we should be good to go yeah, we, we, may, we passed the point where um, it's the halfway point. Um, and we still have 40 seconds to go. The double healer swap, that was a good good swap. I like that swap. We're able to kill the second boss and move into the, the final boss, which is really, really nice. So that uh, that's really, really good news for us. That's going to be the final part of it. The, the meteorites finally took us out, though. We did get a decent amount of damage out, and I'm okay with that. That's, uh, that's pretty good. We got the 30 million damage, which is really, really nice. We're going to be able to go ahead and load up another run here and get that kill on the boss. See if we got any decent gear. Damage reduction HP. Wow, that's actually a really good one. Um, attack damage reduction HP. Eh, it's flat set helmet. Pretty trash. Um, gluttonous. Mm, yeah, uh, defense crit damage. That could be okay. And we just got a bunch of random mythic pieces of gear. I wish you could lock pieces over here. Am I missing him? I don't think you can lock pieces. <laughs> oh boy. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and run that back. And we're going to go ahead and see what we can do on hell difficulty as well. I am a little worried. We're probably not going to be able to do much against this. I'm thinking that we might be able to get to level 2 challenge rewards. Again, that's our goal getting to level 16 million, but we may not even reach past, may not even get to 1 million, to be honest. I think we can, I think we can get to 1 million, but it, it's gonna be tricky. So I'll be back, I'm gonna finish the key off on hard, and then um, I'll show you guys the results of hell and normal and see where we're at. All right, guys, I wanted to show you guys this in hell difficulty. I mean, look how broken these summons are. They just are tanking everything. If I had other DPS in here, um, Kalaza and Senway just do their insane, insane amounts of tanking with the summons just continuously spawning i'd love to have a Mooka, um so that i could put him in the front line potentially um, or something like that and then put score in the back line um it's crazy guys i'm really impressed i'm super super happy that they were able to give us senway in um the uh what's it called the, the rise of heroes i mean he is an absolute game changer for me here now um, I'm going to run this one, see how much damage I'm able to do. You can see that uh, the shield is absolutely absurdly strong here. We might even do, I'm, I'm hoping for like 2 million damage, but um, or like 3 million damage, but I don't know if we're able to get that realistically. You can see there's going to be the shield here. 
um, and we're not even going to be able to get through it. And there comes the big red fireballs down upon us. 1.8 million damage. I don't know if we're going to have the DPS to really cut through it. And so what we might have to do, to be honest, is run like bot mark two. We can't get through the, the shield at all. So even reducing the shield strength is pretty mediocre. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap bot mark two back over to the main comp. Um, because, you know, that's going to give us a little bit more burst DPS because Liren's not really helping us survive all that much. Anyways, um, and, the, and the team two here, we could put Liren in. Um, I'm going to put Kalaza and Sinway up in front, actually, to see if that changes anything. Uh, and I'm going to be right back. So I just wanted to show you all just to see what the difference would make. Senway and Kalaza up in front is a bad idea. They are going to get targeted. They're going to die. You really want them in their middle row. That's going to give the perfect optimization for them to have their summons tank, um, Skewer and Hattie or whatever. Someone as like kind of fodder in the front isn't actually a bad idea. You can actually load up a ton of DPS in the back line and then just have the summons in the middle to tank for you, um, which is really, really solid. Now, it doesn't matter because we don't do enough damage to get through the shield anyway on the boss so it doesn't matter uh i mean that's it right it doesn't matter we can't get through shield through the shield anyways so it will not matter for the boss fight but hopefully we could just go full on full power all burst damage on the boss and see if we could just nuke it down a little bit here um again that's what i'm hoping for bot mark 2 is about to die just from one volley here which is a little scary actually maybe this is a bad idea um but here comes some ults here Mark 2 is going to heal up a little bit. The shield's going to expire. We really just have to wait for that shield to expire. Um, ooh, there goes, you know, Emma. There goes Bot Mark 2. And uh, we did a little bit less damage than last time. So we did a little bit less damage. Um, actually, yeah, we're... <laughs> um, oh, man. We, see, we did 2 million, 2.1 million, which is just short of getting that level 1 reward. Hmm. Oh man, I'm gonna retry that. And um what we could do here in that hell difficulty. I wonder. I wonder if it's better to go for this fight right here. Um we don't really have many options to do it, but we could go something like uh this here. Where is it? Let's pull up these guys and uh, let's, let's let's go ahead and change some of these things up. Um, this is the last change I would like to make here. Oh, I forgot. I didn't know I could upgrade it from there. Ha! I trolled at the beginning then. I, I didn't. I've never even seen. I, I don't know why my brain didn't register the fat upgrade. But oh my god, some people are probably triggered over there. So like, dude, this guy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This, this guy doesn't even know what he's doing. This guy's trolling. Oh, that's what you get. That's what, that's what we get for just sitting and having some fun. Um, all right, we're going to run these two. Then we're going to run Skewer. So I'm going to put these in the middle row. And then I'm going to run Leer in here and see if that really changes anything. I'm not even going to bother anyone for the second row. We can't win it if we're not running our summons anyways there. Um, hopefully with Leo here in the front, he's going to tank everything and then heal up off the summons. And then Liren's going to be able to keep... Oh my goodness, these guys are absolutely... Never mind. Never mind. Look at this. <laughs> oh, man. I was hoping we could get through like one or two health bars to this, but uh, nope. nope. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You got me, you got me. 5.2 million damage. Can we get that reward? Oh man, I really, really want it as well. Is there any way we could buy something that would put us over the edge? Not like money, but like maybe um, like a gene hybrid I might have been missing or something. I have that one. I have that one too. Oh, I could pick up like an Emma copy. I don't know, that's not worth it though. All right, I think we're just gonna have to settle upon what we got today because there isn't really many more options I actually have to go for it. Um, we're gonna get the level one challenge rewards, but I wanted the level one milestone is the tricky, uh, tricky part. Definitely, definitely wanted that. Masrani has got to be someone that I'm going to be upgrading soon. I I have to. Like, there, there, I have no other option realistically here. I put those guys in front. Put Liren in the back and then Skewer right there. Totally fine. Um, and we'll run with, uh, we'll remove all this here. 
Oh, I can't believe I did it again. Uh, we're gonna remove that. This is gonna be a long, long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> like the video, guys, if you, if you, if you want to see more of this type of stuff. I'm just, I'm just kind of, kind of winging it, just having some fun here in the game. I'm not trying like super hard. I'm uh, just, there's, I don't have enough time in my day to go and regear all my units. It's just too much work. <laughs> This first one, we don't have any chance of beating through a health bar, though, so there's no reason to, to go for it. Look at Leo, though. I'm super excited, actually, because I got the Leo upgrades. I'm going to be able to run through some campaign stages way further than hopefully I was able to before. Because I got two evolves on him. I got the, the Mythic 1 and the Mythic 2, which actually unlocks exclusive, which is a big deal. And I got some more talents on him. Actually, did I upgrade the talents? I can't remember now. But I think I did. Um, which is a pretty big deal. So I'm very, very excited about that. I'm very excited about that. Um, so yeah, we're going to see how much uh, how much we're able to do with the new Leo in the campaign. If you guys saw my previous video, guys, I mean, the guy was an absolute monster. Uh, he was out DPSing my whole squad by like twice or maybe three times because of the way his kit works. You know, if he's low HP and he's AOEing through the whole team, he's going to like ramp up his attack to insane numbers. And it's so hard for anyone to compete with him because they're all single turret DPS for the most part. There's some AOE DPS that actually does really well too. Like Omar actually does really well. The like Grama actually does really well on campaign as well. You know, single turret damage is not everything uh, for sure. If I had a Ravenna upgraded, I would definitely be using her. I think that the AOE DPSs um, are very, very good, especially in campaign. Also, the Assassins are very, very good. But Leo is like the perfect one because he's going to be in the front row. He's going to be tanking everything for you. And he's going to dish out DPS like no other by getting to those lows, uh, low HPs. Crete is going to give you that extra beefy frontline and give you a little bit of dis disruption, but he's not going to do the same damage as Leo. There's no chance. Um, it's just not going to happen, right? Like Leo is just a massacring monster. So, so good. So we'll reduce the shield a little bit here. And uh, we're just going to see what we can do here. We're going to see what we can do. Um, and that's going to be pretty much the end of the video because... I don't want to keep re-rolling this. I don't have, uh, I don't have too much more time, <laughs> but uh, hopefully I can do, you know, about a 1.7 1. 1. million or whatever that I need to get that one key. Um, I'll probably run another key in, in hell, even though um, I'm not really getting much out of it. Okay, we actually, whoa, 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 we're actually doing some big fat DPS here. Are we going to be able to reach? Um, no, 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 no. We're at 2.3 million. Everyone's dead, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2.3 million. Oh, we're so close. 2.4 million. Or it's like 2. Point, yeah, 2.3 million. We're so close. We got the limited card. We got a couple pieces of gear here. It's probably not worth it to go for a easy clear, right? Because the milestones here on easy. I mean, I get two to three limited cards. Actually, yeah, it's probably. Uh, but we can definitely complete normal. We got the achievement done. Okay, we did 2.1 million damage uh, for the first time on a hell difficulty. That's really, really nice. And we got some some exclusive upgrade materials. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, so... Ooh, actually, we could get the level 1 challenge rewards. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is a tricky one. I'm trying to figure out if I want to go for normal. Because normal, I'll get potentially more limited cards, right? Because... Oh. I'm going to get the milestone rewards for normal, whereas on uh, in hell, I won't. Well, I think I'm going to go, f I think I'm going to go, or easy is what I meant to say. Easy. Oh. oh, boy. I could triple key this. I could triple key this. But is that worth, is triple keying worth not going for the normal double, double hitter on level four? I don't think so. I think the, the double hit on, um, uh, on the limited cards here is worth going for so that's what i'm gonna do all right guys that's gonna be the end of the video um we're gonna go ahead and leave it at that i'm gonna go ahead and finish off normal and then i'm gonna go ahead and use my last key probably on hell uh just to get me some more limited cards here unfortunately i don't think we're gonna be able to reach um the first milestone of hell as you can see here we need 2.3 million we need 5.2 so we need about 2.6 million so we need about 300k more and i don't think my next team could do 2.9 million if I decided to go ahead and re-gear my whole squad, I don't even think that I would be able to reach it. Now, if I were to run a bunch of stamina, go through my gear, and run through um, 
the ancient altar after that i might be able to but i just don't have the time to do that so we're gonna run through do our normal and uh, that's gonna be it so thanks everyone for watching if you enjoyed be sure to like the video uh, i'm sure many of you out there were waiting for me to do something like this i know some people were asking for the stream of it um, so hopefully this is better than uh, than nothing because um, I don't know if I have the time to put together a stream, but again, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll see you all.